Well, hello and happy Sunday evening. It's a beautiful Sunday evening here in North Texas. Y'all, we had an amazing time at church today. And, you know, it just got me to thinking about uh, some things that I want to come on and just share with someone and to uh, encourage someone to push through. Push through it. My name is Jennifer Bell, and I am on a journey to be fit for him physically, mentally, financially, and of course, spiritually, so that I can do all that he's calling me to do with the spirit of excellence. And so tonight, I had a question about when adversity comes, you know, how we handle it. And, uh, and as you're hopping on, y'all wave hello. Hey there, Kevin. It's a little wave to you. Um, but what happens when you have an idea or you have a goal or you have a dream of doing X, Y, and Z, right? Uh, and you see yourself doing and becoming whatever that is. You know, I looked up the word dream and, and the definition that I'm coming from is that dream that cherish, uh, uh, a cherished aspiration, yeah, or an ambition or an ideal, right? We all have dreams, we know that. And in our dreams, there's no fear. You know, we don't get sidetracked with adversity, right? There are no limits to it. It's just a dream, right? Well, that's where things start for us. And we get these goals and we start thinking about our destinies, right? Y'all hang with me. so. What happens when we're all excited and we're going to do this, whatever this goal is, right? And then fear creeps in. And you guys know the acronym for fear, right? False evidence appearing real. Sometimes fear is so prevalent and it does seem real. But I want to share with you tonight six things. I may have more, but I want to share six steps that you can do to push past all of that and actually realize your dream right? Or that goal. So, so you have this dream uh, and you start to make the plans. You're all excited and you, you share it with a couple of people and, and you start making the action steps for it, right? You've prayed about it and, and all things going well and everything looks great until there's a little bump in the road. Y'all it's called life. We, 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 we know this, right? So for instance, here's, here's an example, the journey to fitness. And I can talk about this. Let me tell you, cause I was that dieting queen. You get all excited. I'm going to do it this time. Week one, I've, uh, my plan was to work out three times a week. I'm going to eat right and have one cheat day. That's okay. Right? So here, here I go. Week one, I'm feeling great. I've accomplished it. I was like, yes, yes, I've done it. Week two, well, the soreness start to, to fit in, to sit in a little bit. Oh my God, it's kind of harder to kind of get going. It feels like it's kind of dying away. I'm talking about my journey that I've gone through with health and fitness, right? And then you start to get tired of the food or prepping or whatever the case may be. And then you start to think these things, can I really do this? I mean, I know what happened last time. Didn't quite make it last time. And then you start to say things like, it's just too hard. It's not in the cards for me. Let me just talk about me. Maybe I'm supposed to be this size. I got to that point and so on and so on and so on. So here comes week three. I just need a different plan. I'm just going to go try this over here. Kind of that, that program hopping, right? Because it seems like things are going a lot quicker for those people that are doing that over there. So I'm gonna go over there. Now, mind you, you've invested three weeks already. So now here's week four and we are jumping ship. Mm, let me just tell you by week four, something new has come, something new is gone. And then all together, we just stop. What if, hello everyone, as you're hopping on, thanks for watching. What if we push through when the discomfort sets in? What if we pushed through, and some people say that acronym for push is pray until something happen or persevere until something happens, right? Or the grass looks green. Yes. I love that, Kevin. So we, what if we pushed through the inconvenience? Yeah. Because on the other side, as Kevin said, we think the grass is greener, but if we push through our own lawn, our grass is going to feel that way as well. Right. But the resistance comes most when we're this close 
this close to success. Would y'all agree with that? This close. So what should we do? Because it's gonna come guys. I mean, resistance, um, adversity, it comes to all of us. It's what we do with it. So I want to share with you a few steps, a few ways that you can push through the advert. I don't care what it is, if it's your health and wellness, if it's your business, if it's your faith, if it's your job, whatever it is, these ways, these little steps can help you get through it. Y'all wanna know what they are? Let me tell you. Number one, Find your sense of humor. Life is funny sometimes. You know what I mean? It's kind of like when you feel like things are always happening to you, at some point, you just got to laugh. Like God has a, a really good sense of humor. He, he really he really has me laughing over here. And you've heard that saying that laughter is like medicine. And a good belly laugh every day I hear is good for the body. Laugh it off. You have to laugh at yourself sometimes. That's the first thing we can do. The second thing we can do is remind ourselves what we've already been through. Because if you have any number of uh, years on this earth, you've been through something, right? And you got through it. And that's the whole point. You've been through something. So remind yourself when you come up against that adversity and whatever else, whatever this goal that you're reaching for, remind yourself, Guess what happened last time? Just like David had to remind himself when he faced Goliath. Guys, I happen to imagine that he, he would say, you know what, God, you helped me defeat a lion. You helped me defeat a bear. This giant is nothing for you. Remind yourself of those things that you have overcome in the past. That's number two. Number three, um, learn from it. If you, you're going up and you fall, Learn from it. Why? So that when that comes, if that comes, you know how to overcome that. You know how to push, push through that. Don't just sit there and just, oh, well, that's that mistake. It's always going to happen. Especially if you find yourself repeating the same things over and over. Hello, Miss Dieting Queen right here. I get to a certain point. Well, who? I didn't got down about two sizes. I feel pretty good. I'm gonna go back to doing what I, no, 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 no. When you get to that point, you got to push, push through that as well. So remind yourself what you've come through already and learn from your mistakes. Don't do a 360, do a 180, right? Here's another one. Refuse to give up. This is the way you can push through your adversity. Refuse to give up. I love what, um, what Michael Jordan said, uh, and y'all know he's famous for saying this. He said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. And y'all, uh, some people refer to him as the greatest basketball player in the world. I'm not going to refute that. I'm not going to discuss that because I don't you know. I just heard that. <laughs> and he is pretty amazing, right? He said on 26 occasions, he was entrusted with the game winning shot. And guess what happened? He missed them. He missed them. So he says, I have failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. So don't look at your failures as true failures. Turn that failure inside out because failure turned inside out is called success. So commit to finding a way forward. Got to keep pushing through, push, do not give up. Refuse to give up on your dreams or whatever it is your goals are, no matter how long it takes, right? Here's number five, have a purpose. Because if you don't understand why you're doing things, I think about me, the reason why I was a dieting queen for over 25 plus years is because I really didn't, the purpose wasn't just to lose weight. There's a bigger purpose for it because when I lost the weight, I didn't keep it off. So why did I lose the weight, right? There's a deeper purpose. Guys, every last one of us, hello as you're hopping on, y'all give me some thumbs up and let me see that you're here. As uh, every last one of us have unique fingerprints. Our fingerprints were designed for a particular purpose that only we can fulfill. Now, knowing what your purpose is, that's another live, right? But I'll bet when you, if you don't know what your purpose is, you will find it. Think about your passion. I like how, I like how Oprah says, says this, uh, you know, Oprah is the greatest example of this. 
of having a purpose. She says she overcame great adversity and became a multi-billionaire doing what she loved, what her fingerprints were designed to do. She puts it like this, passion is energy. Feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you. What makes you happy? What, what gets you up in the morning and gets you going? Like if I don't do this, oh my gosh, my day is going to be X, Y, and Z. Some people's passion is, is working out. It's not mine. I do it cause I need to, but it's not mine. But I mean, they live, they breathe, they move. They can't wait to do it. That's how I felt about education. I enjoyed it with, with the utmost. I loved it. And then seasons change, right? So here's the other thing. Number six, and I think this one should have been, I should have shared this, shared this one first. You got to keep a positive mindset. Guys, there's so much pes, pessimism, pessimistic people, negative Nancy's, and you know, that are out there. People that have that Eeyore spirit. Well, you're going to try that again. It didn't work last time. You got to quit the stinking thinking. You got to quit letting naysayers get in your head. And when I tell y'all I'm talking about me too, I am. Surround yourself with positive people. Those people who are doing what you aspire to do. And if, if it hasn't been done yet, then, you know, you look above, God will give it to you, right? Because of the more you feed into that negativity, the more it'll come out in your actions. Because once it gets into your eye gate, your ear gate, in your mind, it gets into your heart then you start to believe that stuff. So you got to stop the negative thinking and push through the adversity. Well, it's happening because I did something wrong. I should have done. No, rise up and know who you are. Whatever a man thinks, that's what he is. So if the Bible tells me to call those things that are not as though they were, so if I'm going through a a rough patch, I'm not going to focus on that. I'm not going to speak that out loud. I'm going to speak the opposite of what I'm wanting to see more of. Because what you want to see more of, start speaking it and you'll see more of it. Does that make sense? I forget what this theory is called. It's kind of like, um, all of a sudden you're looking for a red car, red Camaro, for example, I don't know. And then you just drive around. All of a sudden you see red Camaros everywhere, right? What a man thinks, that's what he is. So stop the thinking, stinking thinking. And I always say this, if you want to soar with eagles, You got to get out of the chicken coop. Stop having your head down. That's what chickens do. That's what they were designed to do. Eagles were made to soar, to fly high, uh, high above adversity against the wind, right? So laugh about whatever you're going through. It's like medicine. That's what BB Winding says. Laughter is just like medicine. Medicine. Laughter is like medicine. Laugh at yourself, y'all. I'm laughing at myself right now because I look a hot mess. But you know what? I don't care. All right. Number two, remind yourself of what you've already come through. When you talk about pushing through adversity, it's going to come to every last one of our doors. If it hasn't already, it's coming. Right. Be prepared for it. Right. Learn from your mistakes, especially if you're in one of those situations that seems like, seems like, Why does this keep happening to me? You ask yourself those questions. Start thinking about, okay, well, maybe I need to try something different than what I did before, right? Uh Uh-huh. Refuse to give up. Oh, Ann, you're so sweet. Thank you for hopping on. Refuse to give up. Because when you give up, I mean, you're going to be sad. You're going to be upset and, and you're starting all over again. That's all that happens when you give up. You eventually start all over again, right? Have a purpose. Know your why. Y'all see my vision board behind there. I see it every single day. So when I come in this office, I'm, I get to thinking, oh, I don't want to do this today. Oh, I see that board. I'm like, nope, you better push through even your emotions of whatever you're going through, right? Vision boards are awesome. We had a, a quick little vision board event yesterday. I'm telling you, if you don't have a vision board of what it is that your purpose is and things that you want to get done in your life, you need to see it. Like Habakkuk 2 and 4 says, see the vision, write it down so others will see it and run with it. I'm telling you, they are powerful. And then the last thing is uh, keep a positive mindset. I mean, I'm always reading something positive like the circle maker. Um, 
eat that frog, things that are going to fuel your mind to overcome the negativity that's always surrounding us, right? So I'm going to remind myself of these six things. I have a few more. So if you're interested in knowing what the others are, just shoot me a message. I don't mind sharing that with you, but I'm going to tell you this. My goal is to be here every day for 30 days. Ooh, it makes me kind of nervous, but I'm going to do it anyway, right? And all I'm going to do is share my heart. I have notes here as I'm writing. I'm like, I'm just going to share it. I'm just going to share it. Right? So every day for 30 days, I love sharing with you guys. I love hearing from you guys. And if you find value, just hit the share button. Let someone else hear my goal and my purpose for going live is in some form of fashion that I can help as my mama used to say, just one, somebody to keep pushing. It's going to be all right. The greater one lives in you. You can do this. Those dreams that you had that fuels you, that gives you that passion that if everything was gone, that's the thing you would continue to do because you have to do it because your fingerprints were made to do that. That's what I'm talking about because adversity is going to come, but we can overcome the adversity with at least six of these things. Uh, there's 10, five or six more that I have. And if you're interested, I promise you just shoot me a message and I'll, I'll gladly share that with you. So with that being said, I want to encourage someone stay blessed. I didn't say be blessed, stay blessed because you know what, if you're watching me on this live, you're already blessed. You really are. We have a lot to be thankful for. And uh, I look forward to um, sharing with you guys on tomorrow. I don't know what it's going to be right now, but I look forward to sharing with you guys tomorrow. And until then, once again, stay blessed and choose joy. Push through your adversity because on the other side, there's your success. You guys have an amazing rest of your Sunday evening and I will see you back here tomorrow. Sometime. Be blessed.